With the Sundial freed from the clutches of the Red Legion, one escaped Scion Flare enacts a desperate ploy for revenge against the last city. And that, Guardians, is the plot of the upcoming season of The Worthy. What's going on guys, my name is The Black Link, and today, of course, earlier today, we had the Destiny 2 Season of the Worthy gameplay trailer reveal, and this one tells us exactly what's going on when next season begins next week. I told you guys I had a feeling we were probably going to be getting this sometime today, and lo and behold, it indeed happened. So, a Scion Flayer has escaped from the Sundial, has gone back, and has enacted an insane plan. Remember the Almighty from the original Red War? Well, they're planning to launch it directly at the last city. And in order to stop it, we're going to need some help from our old friend Rasputin. Potentially against the better judgment of other people like Osiris. That's the basic plot of Season of the Worthy. And of course, with the gameplay reveal trailer, we got to see a lot of what's going to be going on next season. In our race to arm the Warmind Rasputin, we're going to have a new activity centered around the Seraph Towers. Where we'll be joining our fellow Guardians and preparing Rasputin's defenses in shared public events. We get to see a little bit of that in the gameplay trailer here. We're also going to be having new bounties and bunkers tied to the Warmind himself, where we'll need to rise to Rasputin's challenge and clear bunkers throughout the system to re-establish communication with the Warmind. And of course, along with these new activities are going to be new weapons and armor for you to earn, including some new and returning exotics. We get to see a brand new exotic submachine gun, given the wily title, Tommy's Matchbook. And get the lore bit for it. Tommy the Ghost presents us with a token of goodwill. Sure, it might just be a match, but all a Guardian needs to light up the darkness is a spark. And we get to see a little bit of gameplay with Tommy's matchbook here. Oh, you know, I'm thinking Mafia Tommy gun here. Tommy's matchbook is actually an auto rifle in Destiny. We also get to see a great screenshot of it over on the official Destiny 2 Season of the Worthy webpage. I'll have a link to that down in the description box below, as well as the trailer that we're talking about here. It's got a lot more information about some of the upcoming content. Now, another exotic that we got to see in this video is, of course, the fourth Horseman, now completely confirmed. We saw a little bit of a glimpse, a little bit of a hint at the fourth Horseman in the previous Trials of Osiris video that we got last week. And this video confirms it is returning in all of its four-barreled glory. Now, the matchbook itself is going to be the seasonal exotic. So if you're someone who owns the season pass, I do believe you're going to have access to it right when Season of the Worthy goes live. For everyone else, you'll have to reach rank 35 of Season of the Worthy season pass in order to unlock Tommy's matchbook. So at the very least, if you're a season pass holder, you'll be getting access to this thing basically right when this DLC goes live. And from the little we got to see of it, I like it. I love the Tommy gun aesthetic there. We also got to see what looks to be the hint at a brand new exotic LMG as well. But we don't exactly have more information to go off than just the initial trailer there. Now, moving on, what exactly are we going to be doing in this new season of content? We talked a bit about the Seraph Towers, but what else is going to be going on? Well, of course, with the release of a brand new season of content, we got a brand new calendar. So here you go, the Destiny 2 Season of the Worthy content release calendar. We've got a new PvE activity, three reprised PvP maps, Trials of Osiris, of course, is returning. We've got new legendary weapons and armor. Iron Banner, an exotic quest I'd assume for that exotic LMG, a new artifact, 100 plus seasonal ranks, new exotic armor, new exotic weapons, and sandbox ability tuning, which we covered a bit in last week's TWAB video. So, how does this start out? Well, beginning on March 10th when Season of the Worthy goes live, the Seraph Tower event is going to be going live too. It's a new PvE activity. This is going to provide you new legendary weapons and armor. And looks to be a public event that Guardians all across the system will be taking part in. After that, on March 13th, Trials of Osiris goes live. This is the new in-game PvP activity. This is going to be a returning weekend event just like it was back in Destiny 1. It is the official return of the Trials D1 3v3 elimination mode. We've got three returning D1 maps coming back. The Anomaly, Exodus Blue, and of course the Cauldron for this game mode. There's going to be a new seal and trials themed weapons and armor that you'll all be able to earn in that mode. The armor itself is of course the exile armor, the original trials of Osiris gear. 
which we get another great look at thanks to the Season of the Worthy website here. And of course, there's going to be little caveats and stuff there. There's probably going to be bounties and whatnot tied to trials. We haven't seen what all of the new trials weapons are going to be, so I'm really excited to learn about that. And of course, if you happen to go flawless, if you win nine times without losing a single time, you get to activate armor glows on that exiled armor until the next week's reset, I do believe. But anyways, that's what's going live on Friday, March 13th. Now, beginning on March 10th and then March 24th, the Seraph Bunker in EDZ and the Moon are going live. These are going to be new legendary lost sectors. Completing these is going to help reestablish communication with the Warmind and will hopefully have its own set of rewards tied to it. We actually got to see one of the bosses for these legendary lost sectors and it's the one that the hunter yeeted a shocked up shank towards. So those Lost Sectors will be going live over the course of the season. The first one, again, is dropping when this releases on March 10th in the EDZ, and then on the 24th, the Moon Legendary Lost Sector is going to go live. Then, after that, beginning April 21st, Grandmaster Ordeal Nightfall Strike difficulties are going live. These are going to have their own new seal tied to them, as well as in-game rewards and will take their place as the new highest difficulty level for Nightfalls. How they're going to differentiate themselves from the Nightmare Nightfalls, I have no idea. But I'm sure it'll cause more than its fair share of headaches when this goes live on April 21st. Then, moving on, starting on April 21st and going until May 21st, we've got Guardian Games, a free event for all players of Destiny 2. This is going to contain class competitions and new legendary armor for you to earn. Looks like this is going to be the spring event for this year. So for those of you who are either looking forward to or dreading another revelry, looks like Bungie's going in a different direction this time around. And then finally, beginning on April 7th, the Seraph Bunker on IO is going to be going live. It's going to be yet another legendary lost sector. And then that's all they've got for this calendar. They say that there's going to be even more dropping over the course of the season. Of course, they don't mention the exotic quest that we're going to be getting sometime. So there's going to be even more coming after this. So, between all of that and Trials of Osiris returning each and every weekend, it looks like Guardians are going to have plenty to do when Season of the Worthy goes live. That's not all we're going to talk about today, because of course we got to see a lot of the rewards that you're going to be going for next week, including the new artifact we'll be leveling up, the Warmind Kanjali. Increase your power and unlock powerful seasonal mods each time you upgrade this Sacred Blade. Only you decide how much power is enough. So we're moving on from Osiris's weird trinket, which we use to finish the Empyrean Foundation, to having a sword directly from Rasputin himself. And alongside that, we get to see some of the new Season Pass rewards. We've got some new armor sets for all three of the main classes, as well as some new weapons tied in there too. I think the armor set looks pretty cool. It's got like a real Russian sort of vibe to it, which I guess works since this is going to be a season uh, where we're probably pretty heavily going to be revolving the story around Rasputin himself. So we get a great look at the season pass armor. Of course, there is going to be new free armor for free to play players and people who don't own the season pass as well. And we get an awesome shot of that right here. Next up, we've got a shot at what some of the new seasonal weapons are going to look like. And again, they've got a very Russian feel to them. And of course, just like the last time we did a video like this, we have pictures of what the season pass rewards in their entirety are going to look like. Going to play those through right here for you guys. As usual, there's going to be 100 tiers of set rewards. And anything beyond that is basically just going to help push your power beyond its normal cap. Hope you are all ready to get back to grinding EXP to get your levels up. And as usual, if you want a direct list of what's going to be available for free-to-play players versus what's going to be available in the Season Pass, thankfully, Bungie has given us that right here. So, here's what's going to be available to Season Pass owners. Weekly Rasputin Challenges, Legendary Lost Sectors, a new exotic questline, you'll be able to instantly unlock the 7th Seraph armor sets for each class, you'll be able to instantly unlock the exotic auto rifle Tommy's Matchbook, We've got new triumphs, bounties, and seasonal lore books, an exotic emote, ghost, ornament, and a new exotic finisher. All EXP gains are going to be increased throughout the season with additional season pass rewards to unlock, and all free Destiny 2 content is of course included with the season pass purchase. Now, what's going to be available to all Destiny 2 players? Well, they'll be able to defend the last city from the Red Legion by powering up Rasputin. They'll be able to take part in the new Seraph Tower public events and bunker activities. Trials of Osiris returns every weekend with a minimum power level of 960. 
You'll still have access to the seasonal artifact, upgrading the Warmind Kanjali to earn seasonal gear mods, rank up to unlock the seasonal armor set 7 Seraph, and of course you'll be able to rank up and eventually unlock the new exotic auto rifle, Tommy's Matchbook. So even without the season pass, you're still going to have plenty of things to do in Season of the Worthy. But alright, there we go. That's pretty much it, Guardians, for the newest bits of news that we learned about the Season of the Worthy dropping next week on March 10th. Again, that trailer went live earlier today, and if you'd like to see it in its entirety, I'll have a link to that down in the description box below, alongside the official website for the Season of the Worthy. There's a lot of cool stuff getting ready to go down in the world of Destiny 2, and I can't wait for some new fresh content to engage in. But alright, that's the news and those are my thoughts. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. How do you feel about all this new stuff? Are you psyched for the new gear, the new weapons, and the new activities centered around powering up Rasputin? Or are you like Osiris and think that may be an idea we come to regret? Be sure to let me know. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But I'm out for now. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I am the Black Link. Guardians, stay frosty.